Good morning. I wanted to reach out to all of you today to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. I realize that this is a difficult year and it probably doesn't feel like there's a lot to be thankful for. But as I sit with the Lord and I consider all that he has done for me through his son Jesus in pouring out his Holy Spirit upon me, I, I realize that I have so much to be thankful for. Not to mention my wife and children, the reasonable amount of health that I enjoy at this moment at 53. So I wanted to encourage you to pause and take stock in your life. And I think you'll find many things to give thanks for. I also wanted to mention a few other things. For the Vineyard Church, this coming Sunday is our family fifth Sunday. So be thinking about perhaps a God story that you could share, a way that God has been ministering to you or touching your life, or perhaps something uh, that God has been speaking to you about. For those of you that are wondering what has been going on with me, God has me in the book of Daniel right now, which does mention some things about the end times, but I felt like the Spirit led me there not so much for answers as to what's going to happen, but simply to uh, consider the life of Daniel who faced such difficult times with grace and poise, and I want to be like that. So I'm in the book of Daniel right now, and God's speaking to me, and so I'm encouraged. I also wanted to mention that uh, because it is the fifth Sunday, normally our children's ministry has not been open on those fifth Sundays. We have the family all gather in together. So if the kids are going to be with you, you may want to bring something along to keep them uh, interested or occupied. I will be teaching briefly on worship, but we are going to have a time for sharing testimonies. And uh, so this Sunday, there will be no children's ministry, November 29th. And then next Sunday, December 6th, there will not be children's ministry as well. We're pausing for two weeks to gather with our children's ministry coaches to brainstorm uh, the best way to approach things in this COVID uh, odd time. And so we're going to be meeting and we'll be rolling out some uh, kind of COVID protocols and perhaps uh, narrowing our focus, perhaps putting uh, caps to attendance in children's uh, ministry uh, per room. So we'll be letting you know about that after December 6th. Also a reminder, we hope to be having breakfast at the Alden Legion as a fundraiser for our mission team on December 6th as well from 8 to noon. So just take note of that. There is a, I think it's a $6 cost, so, but it's a good breakfast and uh, it is a great fundraiser for us if you can come out and help. Last thing I wanted to mention, and I realize the video is getting long. I'm up to three minutes already, but I, I did want to touch base with you. I know that there are some of you that had difficulty with these little things, these cups, these pre-packaged cups for communion. And I wanted to take the time just to touch base with you uh, about this because we'll be using these during COVID uh, just because they're pre-packaged and, and only one person will touch them then. Uh, this little tab, there's a little tab here, and I just want to point that out to you. If you push this little tab down, just at an angle like that. What it does is it causes the plastic that's on there, there's a little piece of plastic, it pops loose. And if you get that separated, then you can pull that back and you can access the wafer that's on the top. After you've gotten the wafer, and I'll just pull this back so you can see, you can leave that on there, you can pull the wafer off. And now you grab the little tab and if you put your finger on the far side, using it as a pivot point, don't squeeze the cup, but simply pull, pushing against that opposite finger, you can get the cup open to drink it. And so I, I realize that, that perhaps is a challenge for some of you. Uh, we don't want to leave anyone out of communion when we observe it together. So I just wanted to do that <laughs> tutorial, if you will, uh, how you can try and get those cups open. I realize they can be a challenge, and we apologize for that. We're trying our best just to keep people safe and yet continue to worship the Lord together and observe communion. So thank you for hanging in there with me today for this video. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below, and I'll, I'll peruse that later. Uh, but do have a happy Thanksgiving. God bless you, my friends. I love you all, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.